Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art and let's draw the awesome looking Sanctum skin. So let's get started with a quick sketch and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so let's draw this and to begin we're going to start out with his eyes first. So we're going to draw in just the top of his eyes. I'm going to draw two lines. And then from there we're going to start slanting inward okay and then on the bottom we're just gonna draw another horizontal line and then we gotta slant it back up so line and then just go up so same slant and then once we have that we're gonna draw on the, uh, the eyeballs it's gonna be looking up so it looks a little bit meaner we're just going to draw like a little half circle on the top. Alright, and then once we have that, we can draw in his eyebrow. So his eyebrow is just going to be a mean brow. So we're just going to start here and just kind of slant upwards. Just right over the eye. And then from there, we're going to start on the corner. Just go up and then come back down. So we're just going to keep it simple. Let's go up down and once we have the eye so let's work on his really cool looking mask so we're gonna start on the side of his head first so just come to the side and we're just gonna draw two lines like this it's gonna be the side of his head and then once we have that we're gonna come back into the middle just right in, the, in between the eyes let's start drawing his mask let's slant down and then come back up not all the way to the side and then we're gonna draw one more line here just go all the way up to the side this mask goes all the way up behind his ears all right so once we have that now we can fill in the uh, the rest of this rest of his face so right around here we're just gonna curve down okay so that's gonna be his jawline and his chin we're just gonna close it off and then for his mask, just come back to the middle. You come down, you make a little point, and then we're just gonna curve each side down. Let's go all the way down. Okay, and then from there, we get, there's gonna be uh, some details right here. So we're gonna start off in the middle here. It looks like just one big spike. So just curve and then just go down to the center. And then we're gonna have one on each side we're gonna draw one more line and on the top here i'm just gonna come up let's give a little bit more thickness to it it's getting small for my sharpie okay and then the middle here i'm just gonna draw one circle and then on the nose area here i know it's got a couple of spikes but i'm just gonna draw one on each side to kind of simplify a little bit so let's draw like a little triangle and that's pretty much it for his mask. So let's come to the side and just fin finish up his ear. So just right across from the eye, just come across and just draw a little curve. All right, so it's a really cool looking face. So now let's finish up um, his hair. So we can come up back in the middle. Okay, we're gonna draw his hairline, just come up. And then slant down, just go back all the way down to the curve. Okay, and then once you have that, we're gonna extend this line here. So we're gonna draw some of the, uh, the hairs on the top. And then we're gonna curve all the way around. I know it looks kind of weird right now, but we'll fill up this space after we draw in some of the hair. So once you have this, from the middle here, we're just gonna draw some individual strands going out. So it doesn't have to connect. I'm just gonna draw in some lines. All right, and then now we can finish up the space here. So just come right about here. Just gonna come slant down. And close off the head. All right, yeah, that looks a little bit better, right? <laughs> Once we draw on these lines. 
All right, so that's the head and let's move on to the body and for his body it's actually pretty simple um let's start out with his neck just come into the side here just come straight down and then we're gonna go out and this is gonna go out quite a bit because he's got these uh pointy sh shoulder pads here on the side so we're coming out quite quite a lot and then from here this point here we're gonna curve and this part's a little bit tricky just curve like this so curve, come back out. So this is gonna be his armpit area. Okay, and then before we draw the bottom, let's draw in some of the, the shoulder pads here. So for this part here, we're gonna slant up. And then we'll go back out. Okay, so just go straight back up to the shoulders. Okay, and then once you have that, we can draw in another slant, just come in slightly, another slant and then go back out with the same direction as the other line okay so yeah it's a little bit tricky but not too bad right and then from here let's finish up uh, this neckline here so we're gonna draw just two lines just following in the uh, the chin or the jawline and then come straight down and just close it off All right, so that's the top part and let's move on to the bottom. So now we're gonna come back up here. This is the armpit area. We're just gonna pinch it all the way down to his waist. And he doesn't have a belt, so we're just gonna leave it like that. And then we're gonna come back down. So this is gonna be his hip area. Okay, and then from here, just come back to the middle. Here's the, here's the belt area, come down. You can make a little point. And then I'm just gonna draw in like a little angle like this, upside down V. And then from here, just kind of connect that. And then to finish this off, it's got a little bit uh, more detail here, a little bit more clothing. So we just kind of come straight across. And then for some details here, um, I'm just gonna add like two little buckles here. So it's just gonna be two little squares. And then on this side, we're just going to draw slightly longer, so just two rectangles. Alright, so that's the torso. So let's move on to his arms, and here we're going to start out his armpit right here, come down. And then we come back up here for his shoulder. Slant down, and then his bicep, bracket, come back up here, bracket. And then for his lower arm, we're going to just go out and then close it first. This part is a little bit different. Okay, once you close this, we're going to extend this line. And then we're going to continue this, just curve. And then for here, we're going to come down quite a bit. And then we're going to close this off with a slant. Okay, so this angle is very steep. And then they draw his fist, so this one's easy. Come down and just little hook. Back of the fist, come down, just turn it and close it off. Okay, and let's see, it looks like he's got those gloves, so we're just gonna add just a little angle like that. Okay, so let's draw on the other side first before we put in the uh, details here. So here's the armpit. Shoulder coming down. Same thing here. Bicep bracket. Come back up here. Bracket. So use the other side for reference. Slant down and just close it off. Extend this one. Now curve this one down. And then this one's gonna slant down. Quite a bit past this point. Close it off, and that's your wrist. Close his fist. Here's his thumb. Just hook. Back the fist. Slightly round it off, and just close it. And then same thing here. We'll just add that. Okay, and then to finish off, let's see. He's got some straps here. He's got two straps, two smaller straps for dinner. Okay, and then for the back here, he's got some uh, 
Got some armor going on here. So just come back right around here. We come straight down. And then just slant out. Same slant as that. And then it's got a couple of straps to this thing too. So we're going to draw one. That's going to be one strap and another one. I know it's a little bit confusing to see, but once we color it, we'll be able to see those straps better. All right, so now let's draw on the other side. So it's going to be pretty much the same. So that's one and two, and then same thing here. Come down, stop early, slant out. Then two straps again, so one, two. Alright, so that's the lower, I mean that's the uh, upper body, so let's move on to his legs. So for his legs, it's actually pretty simple too. Um, so we're going to start in the middle here, come down, you can make a little point. And then from here, I'm just going to draw a little angle going down. So his pants are a little bit different from the other, from the other uh, Fortnite characters. Okay, and then once you have that, go back up here, come down, slant in, back to the middle, Come to the side, down, slant in, and then for his uh, for his knee, just gonna draw a little bracket, just kind of taper in slightly, okay, and then his lower leg, we're gonna come out, okay, and let's yeah, let's you know what, let's draw on the other side first before we go down any further on this. Okay, so let's start back up here. Slant in and then go back here in the middle, go out this way. Okay, so use the other side for reference. And here's his knee. Okay, so now let's go back here. And yeah, sorry that I had to stop here because sometimes if you go down um, on one side too much, it's a little bit more difficult to follow. So it's kind of better to draw both sides at once. Okay, so now that we have this, and let's continue on with the lower leg. So we, we flared out, and then we're going to pinch it back in. Close it, and then it's got those boots. It's a little bit, a little bit more squarish. So we're going to come down, and then for this part, go out, and just curve down. Close it off. And then let's just add one section for the sole. Okay, so let's move on to the other side. So now we're going to flare out. Curve in. This one's almost straight down. Use the other side for reference. Close it off. So same thing here in the shoes. Down and this one's going to go out and just curve down. All right, so now let's finish up uh, the details on his boot. So we're gonna start right here on the corner. Take this corner, come straight across. And then from this corner, we're gonna come across here. So it goes out a little bit further out to the side. And then once you have that, we're gonna extend this line here, come up, and then come back down. So it's got a little, little bit of spike there on his boot. Okay, and then let's see on the bottom here, we can draw in just one line, and let's just draw in a little square in here. It looks like some smaller details. Okay, and then so same thing on the other side. So start on the corner, slant down, and then this corner, slant to the other side. So same thing here. This one's gonna go up, just continue that line, come back down. All right, cool little spike. And then same thing here. One section and then one little square. All right, so that's his uh, lower body, and let's finish off with his cape. So, which gonna make him look a lot cooler. So, for his cape, it's pretty simple. We just start somewhere around here. I'm just gonna start right under the armpit here. Just gonna go out, just kind of curve down, and then we we'll come up behind the leg and now let's draw on the other side so maybe on this side I'm going to start a little bit lower just go all the way down 
come back up. Okay, so in the middle here, on the back, I'm just gonna draw like a big V shape. And then from this point, just kind of imagine going to this line here. So I'm just gonna draw that. And the same thing here as if it's going right through. And that is it for this very cool looking Sanctum skin in Fortnite. Hope you guys liked the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you next time.